the 2026 FIFA World Cup. Thank you. Yeah, you got to love that celebration. The three countries will host the World Cup in nearly two dozen cities across North America. And Atlanta's Mercedes-Benz Stadium is going to be taking part in this. And Atlanta United President Darren Eels joins me now uh, to talk about this. And it's so good to have you with us today, Darren. Good morning, Lisa. Good yeah, to be good here. morning. Thanks for coming in. So this was like breaking news. I mean, this is a huge deal. Yeah, massive deal. I mean, for soccer in North America, it's huge. We've got eight years now to, to plan for it. And if you think back, 1994 was the last time we had the World Cup mm -hmm. in the USA. And that's where MLS, where Atlanta United plays, was born from that. So 30 years later, we're going to have a World Cup in 2026. And it's just so exciting. I'm so, uh, actually, you can see I'm <laughs> smiling can. all over. <laughs> <laughs> you have a lot to smile about. You really do. So you mentioned, you know, 19, uh, 1986, it was in Mexico. 94, it was in the US. It hasn't been in Canada. And so this is kind of a, a new experience pulling them into the fold too, but a very, very big deal. I want to mention this too. FIFA came to tour at, uh, to tour Mercedes-Benz Stadium in April. So how did that visit go? That was really their introduction to Mercedes-Benz. That's right. They chose two cities. They came to New York and to Atlanta. And mm -hmm. I think, look, Atlanta was front and center of this bid. If you saw any of the footage this morning, they were allowed to show a 15 minute video. Half of the footage was of yeah, Atlanta. Majorly highlighted. Because we were able to demonstrate here that in America, soccer's taken off. You know, Atlanta United is going to average 53,000 this year, which put us 15th in the world. So this is a way of saying, look, if we can do this in Atlanta, imagine what you can do in America with an eight year lead time. Yeah. I think that was one of the factors that swayed the vote. Yeah, huge. You know, I asked you during the break if you had any kind of indication that, that this is what would happen. And the answer to that you said was no. No, I mean, look, it's FIFA, so you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> and, you know, the last two World Cups were quite controversial in terms of the vote that went there. So I think we were all optimistic, cautiously mm -hmm. optimistic. Mm -hmm. But until we actually heard the names read out this morning, you couldn't take anything for granted. Yeah. So what did you do when you heard it? Like, what uh, was your... <laughs> it was a, you know, it's, it's just a big scream of joy. And <laughs> because I think, you know, for us in, in this city in particular, there's 23 cities at the moment that are going to get whittled down to 16. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we're front and centre. We've got Mercedes-Benz Stadium, the best stadium in the world. We've got a city that's used to putting on big events like the Super Bowl. We've had the Olympics. And now we've got Atlanta United, which is showing that this is, you know, the biggest soccer city in America. So we're really sort of front and center of the, it's the, of real the World deal. Cup bid. Yeah, and it's going to yeah. be amazing for the city. It's the real deal. Another really cool part of this, it means the U.S. automatically qualifies yeah, I mean, look, one, <laughs> I mean, one of the disappointments for, for this World Cup is we don't have America that playing. The truth? Yeah. But, uh, you know, now we've got some hope. And as you say, we don't have to worry about qualifying because yeah. we automatically get in as the host. <laughs> That's a, that's a good that's a good perk when it comes to this. So what have you what are your thoughts on on how the city has just embraced and welcomed Atlanta United? You talked about all those fans being at the games. I mean, this city has gone soccer crazy. Yeah, it's gone soccer crazy. And what's been amazing is we we knew we had the numbers early on when we were selling the tickets, but the the passion and energy is unlike anywhere else. And I think that's the that's the factor that really impressed the FIFA technical committee because America's considered this country that doesn't understand soccer, mm -hmm. but they came to the stadium, they saw the footage of our fans, they came to a match and realized that Proved actually, yeah, this yeah, this is a place that yeah. absolutely gets soccer. Great. Okay, well, I'm sure we're going to be talking to you in the, <laughs> the time building up to this eight years from now. So again, uh, Atlanta on the map when it comes to the World Cup eight years from now. Darren, thank you so much for coming in today. We thank appreciate you. it. Congrats. Cheers. Thanks the a big lot. Big news. Yeah, cheers. This year's FIFA World Cup in Russia begins tomorrow. You can catch all the action right here on Fox.